iPhone 8 leaked designs show us at least one unit will be thicker than the average. The future Moto Z gets leaked and don't expect many design changes, and Microsoft starts gearing up from some sort of an event in May. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, yesterday I asked for jokes, I ended up getting comments about my name again. So for now, enjoy the t-shirt. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today begin with deals as a uh, Leico may not be having a good time in the United States, but it feels that tax rebate season is the best time to give you something. So for now, devices like for example the Lee Pro 3 in addition to others are being offered with as much as $50 off, but they're also bundling a deal with DirecTV that I would highly recommend you look in the link in the description. Now let's talk about Microsoft as the company has already sent out invitations for an event to happen on May 2nd, and this event will be focused on education. It wouldn't be the first time but apparently the company wants to try out something new. Chromebooks are really dominating the education space right now, starting with the price tag. So it seems that we might be getting a new Surface that's underpowered, probably a successor to the Surface 3 that hasn't been refreshed in a while. And it seems we might be getting Windows Cloud, which is the Chrome OS competitor. Let's see what we get. And for those of you fans of the Moto Z, and uh, I know there are not many of you, the modular concept is there, not really a big fan of its design, and uh, apparently the design is staying. We've got some leaked renders of the Moto Z Force. The design almost remains the same, about the only thing that changes is really the fact that you get a dual camera. And that is great because you've got one of the most insane camera humps in history, which actually allows for the Moto mods, which are making a comeback, so let's see. Now, in probably one of the most interesting turn of events, let's talk about the next generation Apple Watch. Apparently, there is this project that's been five years in the making. It started with Steve Jobs' idea of having a wearable that would actually help you track your health like truly track your health with a full glucose tracker for diabetics, for example. And uh, well, the company hasn't really figured it out yet, but apparently there's this secret group working on this, again, for five years. And it seems that they've achieved progress up to the point where trusted sources claim that it is already in trials, that government authorities are already looking at this. Could this be the major feature of the next generation Apple Watch? Only time will tell. And finally, the most interesting news today, in addition to those of the Apple Watch, have to do with the next generation iPhone. We've got leaked images of the possible design, and let me just start it off by saying it's horrible. That camera hump vertically looks horrible in my opinion, but this wouldn't be the first time that we see designs that don't really look as bad once you get the final product. Now, it's really hard to tell design materials. What we do notice, which is the most important, is that the bezels are pretty much taking a step back, just like we see with the LG G6. And the other is that apparently this phone is getting thicker, or at least one of the variants is a full millimeter thicker than the iPhone 7 Plus. And the 7 Plus is a thick phone. It leads me to the question of the day, what do you think about these design renders? Do you think that uh, Apple will make a phone this ugly? In my case, you never know. Let's see what we get. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes if you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed. Follow us on PocketNow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.